Hey, my name is Tim and I am back in the test kitchen here at Pampered Chef. Over the course of this series, I've gone over some core cooking skills. Things like searing and sauteing, grilling, simmering, sweating, but the hallmark of a great chef isn't their ability to cut an onion or sear a piece of fish. No, what makes a great chef great is her creativity. The ability to take those core cooking skills and make something special out of it. And a great way for you as a home cook to really start flexing those creative muscles is through cocktails. Every cocktail I'm gonna make today is based on the golden ratio of cocktails, two, one, one. That's two parts strong, one part sweet, and one part sour. Once you understand that basic ratio, you can make an endless amount of cocktails. But more importantly, you can start mixing and matching that sweet and that sour and that strong to make something that's truly unique. So what I wanna focus on first is the sweet component of a cocktail. The sweet in most cocktails is a simple syrup. That's equal parts sugar and water. Do not ever buy simple syrup. It's so easy to make. All you do is measure out a cup of sugar and a cup of water, then heat it up either in a microwave or on a stovetop until the sugar is dissolved. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make simple syrup. But on top of that, you can really start being creative. Like, instead of using just plain white sugar, try using brown sugar. And when you're heating all of those things up together, you can start adding extra ingredients. So on the stove here, I have some cinnamon sticks, some star anise, and some cloves. All of that's going to heat up together, and then when it comes to a simmer, I'm just going to cover it with the lid and let it steep like tea. Think beyond that. In the summertime, add basil to your simple syrup, or add some fresh thyme, or fresh fruits. The possibilities are really limitless. But there are other things out there that are sweet besides sugar. You can make a honey simple syrup or an agave syrup. And when you start using those different sweeteners or steeping those flavors into your syrups, the possibilities are endless and you can make a drink that is truly your own. So to start things off, let's make a really simple cocktail and change just one thing. So for a whiskey sour, there are two parts whiskey, one part lemon juice, and one part simple syrup. So instead of using just plain simple syrup, I'm going to use that brown sugar simple syrup that I steeped with cinnamon and star anise and clove. It's going to make everything so much better. So whenever I'm measuring out a cocktail, I always measure my least expensive ingredients first. That way, if I make a mistake, I haven't wasted any expensive alcohol. So this drink has our brown sugar simple syrup, our lemon juice, and bourbon. Then just shake everything together so that it is a perfectly combined cocktail. To make a seal with a Boston shaker, make sure one side is straight and the other side is angled, and then you're ready to go. Then to release the seal, you can do one of two things. You can either squeeze the rim of the shaker or you can give it a tap. All right. And here we have a whiskey sour with a brown sugar and cinnamon syrup. Then garnish it with whatever's inside. In this case, a little bit of lemon juice. This next cocktail is an easy one to be creative with, a Tom Collins. A Tom Collins is made with gin, lemon juice, and simple syrup, and then topped with club soda. But instead of just using simple syrup, you can make a honey syrup for a Tom Collins. I'm still going to add some lemon juice for that sour component. And then, of course, I'll add gin. But instead of using club soda, you can use a flavored sparkling water. There are all kinds of different flavors out there right now. And topping your drink with whatever flavor you love is a great way to make a really special cocktail. 
So when I'm shaking a cocktail, I think of the ice as one of the ingredients. It's really, really important to not skimp on the amount of ice you use. Shaking it with the ice is going to water down and kind of smooth out those sharp edges from the sour component. It's also gonna add a lot of air and body to the drink as well. There are more ways to be creative with your cocktails than just switching up the simple syrup. And a great way to do that is through muddling. A basic margarita, it has two parts tequila, one part lime juice, and one part simple syrup. But you can do so many things with that simple ratio to really liven it up. And muddling is a great way to do that. In this one, I'm going to muddle some blackberries and a blood orange. Having these ingredients inside the cocktail are going to add so much color and depth. And instead of using just a simple, simple syrup, I'm going to use an agave syrup. Tequila is made with agave, so an agave syrup makes perfect sense in a margarita. Then I'm gonna muddle all of these together so that the fruit juice from the blackberry and even the aroma from the orange peel are gonna come out in the cocktail. Then I'll add my lime juice and my tequila. The great thing about using a ratio instead of a recipe when you're experimenting with new flavors of a cocktail is that you don't have to make a whole recipe. You don't have to make a whole cocktail. Instead of making a two ounces of tequila and one ounce of lemon juice or one ounce of syrup, you can scale it back a little bit. Do a quarter ounce instead of a whole ounce and do a half ounce. So it can be a half ounce of tequila, a quarter ounce of agave syrup, a quarter ounce of lime juice, just to see how things are. That way you're not wasting a whole drink. It's what makes using the ratio so important. Lastly is the tequila. Then we'll just shake it all up. Maybe you're the kind of person that has always felt chained to a recipe. Well, now you see how easy it is to start being creative in the kitchen, especially with cocktails. So if you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. I can't wait to see what great cocktails you come up with yourself. Thanks for watching. Cheers.